So I'm pretty sure this worked out exactly as planned for 343. Let me show you why. As you all know that the Halo Combat Evolved armor set is in the game and yes, I did chill out for it and get it because well, I thought this armor set looked amazing and it plays on my nostalgia as I started back in Halo 1 and this armor set looks amazing. This is the armor set that we should have got way back in Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. But the thing is that this actually worked out, I'm pretty sure, in exactly how 343 was hoping it, for it to work out. Let me show you why. Because right here, 343's numbers jumped incredibly when it comes to sales. From the Forge Falcons here, they cited the source saying that in the last 24 hours, this is back on November 7th when the bundle first went live, that Halo Infinite jumped from 115th to 21st in the global sales on Steam. I saw this number even go higher up to 15th within Steam alone. And the only thing that changed with Halo Infinite when it comes to sales really is the Mark V armor set because everything else in the shop here has been in previously didn't really make much of a dent. Maybe it was the cat ears, maybe. It could have just been the cat ears, but I'm pretty sure it was the CE armor set that just boosted Halo Infinite's sales numbers insanely high. Now, actually, we were able to semi-recreate the CE armor set with a Mark V B armor set and a keen-eyed Reddit user, Spacey Cakes Showcase. That's not tweeted this out to show you guys what we're talking about here. I also posted on the channel as well, if you guys want to check that out on the community page. But you can see how it's very similar, yet different in very important areas. Let me show you here. So you have the shoulder pads are clearly different. The helmets are completely different shape here, right? Like the CE armor set, that's more true to the CE armor set. It feels more bulky, more kind of like thick and badass i guess is the way to put it really you got the arm right here that shows off very differently the armor detail here is also an undersuit's different they got the belt across and stuff like that so there are key differences when it comes to the armor set to where yeah you can just save 20 dollars, i guess but if you're like a hardcore ce fan such as myself this is where i started with the halo franchise way back in 2001 You'll see this and you'll instantly notice the difference. Brutal user reps also showcase that the armor coating that you get within the bundle for Halo Infinite's CE core or coating kit, whatever you want to call it. You showcase the coatings here for the Sage coating, for, which is a cadet coating. Everyone gets it in a Combat Vault Mark V coating, and they're effectively the same. Like, you really have to look into it to see what the differences are. I can see with the cadet coating, it's a little more dirty in a way, a little bit different types of scratches and things like that compared to the Mark V armor set, which is a little bit more clean, yet still shows some wear and tear on it. So, again, it's all just perceived value, right? This is all digital stuff. Like, it's all what you want rather than actually showcasing different types of value. I do see that like, be feeling kind of smoke and mirrors almost in a way of showcasing, like, hey, you get some new content, but really, you already have it within the game. But it's one of those things, if you don't like it, you don't have to pay for it. It's all customization. Let people spend money how they want. Now, the population of Halo Infinite continues to grow. And this is a much overall scaled numbers that were showcased right here. Elite Falcon over here on Twitter showcased that on Active Player IO, that in the last 30 days, we've had over 900,000 active players in Halo Infinite. So you know how to go to the website itself and figure out how to get their information. Now you can see here for active player IO for Halo Infinite in the last hour, which is what at 10.57 AM at the time I'm recording specific standard time, 30,000 total players are playing Halo Infinite right now, which is pretty awesome. A pretty solid player base to work with right there. Active players in the last 30 days, 913,000 players gained over 400,000 players in the last 30 days. This is all season five awesomeness right here and also the twitch numbers have definitely gone up with the peak view viewer count on twitch over 9,000. yes it's over 9,000. but i had to look into going like how do you guys get your information when it comes to this because like obviously xbox tries to hide their numbers so you can't really get a true sense you can look on the xbox most played games you can see right here that halo is currently sitting at 16 on the most played games on xbox so that's a healthy amount of people playing the game right now i do believe it went up to 15 but we're right behind Destiny 2 in player count on Xbox alone. And you can see with this bar graph here, in the last 30 days, it showcases that average monthly players have drastically gone up, as in this is the most they've ever had, according to this website, which I feel is a little misleading. Because right now, this website's saying that this month of November and October with Season 5's launch is the most players we've ever had more than the launch back in November 30th, 2021, apparently, when they had 600,000 people playing. Now, on the website, they do say how they collect their data, saying that they run through numerous statistic websites that offer statistical data for the game, such as these various websites right here and more. I do stay on here saying all data presented by activeplayer.io are all estimated data and should not 
be used as factual reference. Effectively saying don't take it down to the actual number itself, but get a general idea of things going up, things going down, and general player counts. So I wouldn't go around saying, oh my god, 900,000 people are playing Halo Infinite every month now. I would say there's a sizable amount of people now. Now the leaks keep on coming when it comes to the operations coming here on November 14th. We got the new Halo 3 players coming in with combined arms operation and things like that. These operations are different than events because they're going away with events, bringing in operations. Operations are supposed to last about four to six weeks, have their own event pass with 20 tiers that will be free to earn, but you can pay into them. And we covered that in a previous video, but we have some new information right here showcasing that there's actually gonna change the game a little bit in a way to make it feel more like an actual event where Showcase here by Delta here on Halo, showcasing some leaks that when the combined operations event comes in, you'll see Prism as the background. And then when Winter Contingency 3 comes in in the middle of December, we'll have a snowy background of permafrost with that Forge canvas. But if you miss it, I have more leaks for you. Now, I did cover this previously on the channel, but so we're on the same page here. I'll showcase what we're talking about here. This is going to be the combined arms event pass right here. Again, this is leaked information. Not everything is going to be there, but we have different types of armor sets. You're going to unlock different coatings, emblems, XP boost, uh, effects, and things like that as well for the entire tier. So a pretty solid amount of content. Like, yeah, XP boosts are nice, but uh, you know, the emblems are kind of always viewed as filler kind of content, but you do earn an entire armor set, the one that was showcased within the art for the event. So you get some cool new armor set right there. It looks like more for the Mark Seven armor set right there. This is for the winter contingency. As the moment of making this video, the leaks are showcasing some missing content right now, but assuming that this will be kind of more like maybe armor effects, new armor set, coatings, things like that. So basically the same type of content with the other seasonal event operation of combined arms right here with the winter contingency as well. You get this weird looking like, I guess, trying to be like Santa type helmet within Halo Infinite. I love the candy cane uh, armor shoulder pads with like the candy cane like bolt looking bullets on the side. I think that's hilarious. You also get some tactical mittens. And for winter contingency, it looks like we might actually get what we've always wanted with that event. And that is a holiday theme to the maps. Right here, showcase another leak from Delta Archive showcasing Snowfire, which is basically a snowy version of Live Fire. This is going to be absolutely amazing. This is what's going to happen for the Winter Contingency 3. Here's some actual gameplay that was posted on Twitter, so apologies for the quality. This is one of the unlocks you see on the weapon right here for a weapon attachment kind of thing. Like, yeah, this is looking pretty wild when it comes to the customization and the gameplay of the maps as well. But this is exactly what we've always wanted when it comes to these winter these contingency events. Make the game feel like it's winter time, you know? 343 did this way back in Halo 5, if you guys remember that, with the Holiday Fiesta. That was an amazing event, making it really feel like it's part of like the almost live service type of Halo experience. Now, we do know that Firefight will be coming into Halo Infinite very soon, but you can play it right now within Halo Infinite. I have a video right here showcasing how to do it. If you guys want to check that out, click that video right there. Thank you all for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.